Ashraf Ghani was just sworn in as president of Afghanistan, replacing Hamid Karzai after 13 years in office. The inauguration caps nearly six months of deadlock over claims of electoral fraud and a recount of votes. CCTV's Courtney Body has those details. An historic day for Afghanistan. After months of deadlock and an election in crisis, the new Afghan president, Dr. Ashraf Ghani, was sworn in on Monday. Amidst a dire economic situation and security at an all-time low, the new president does have a tough road ahead of him. And the government he will lead will be a new kind of government. His opposition in the election, Abdullah Abdullah, was also sworn in today as chief executive officer a role created during the election crisis to bring both sides together under a national unity government. There has been worry that the two sides would not agree on sharing power, but both said today that they are committed to serving all of the people together. All of the people of Afghanistan are heroes, and the national unity government will represent everyone. In his speech, Ghani promised the Afghan people that he will fight corruption and increase support for the security forces. He also thanked and named his wife, who was in the audience. Something new here, as now former President Karzai's wife was almost never seen in public. Women's rights activists expressed great hope in seeing that. Ghani becomes president, but with so much at stake, he and Abdullah will have to be united. The people heard their words and are hopeful to move forward. Yet after the grueling election, it is going to take a lot of action on their part to get the country on its own feet again. The previous president promised a lot, but he did not keep all of his promises. We hope this president will be able to keep his promises and make the people happy. Ghani also promised to strengthen his foreign policy saying that with the support of the Gulf states in the Middle East and China and India, Afghanistan could be a bridge to Asia. He is also expected to sign the security agreement with the Americans on Tuesday, which would cement crucial future military and economic support. Despite tight security in Kabul during the swearing-in ceremony, at least seven Afghans were killed in a bombing not far from the palace gates. The new president and his CEO will have to work together starting now to ensure that the Afghan people don't continue to pay the price. Courtney Body, CCTV, Kabul.